try! How many times have you uh, played in league? I answer that already. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Many, many times. Many, I, I'd say, I don't know, 10. Yeah. And always a good scrum. Is that the way you found them? Well, it's, uh, it's pretty important over there, set piece. And uh, they do like the gym a lot. So uh, they, they're pretty strong. Pretty strong. And it's in the DNA uh, to be strong. And, and that comfort, pa confrontational part of, uh, of the game, they, they're pretty big on. Your assessment of the set piece of all these last couple of weeks? I think that, um, that that it was pretty good. I, I know that we lost a couple of balls last week, but it, it was just individual mistakes. Uh, you have to know that guys are coming from different systems in terms of line and scrum, so we have to get them working together in a week, and that's no, no excuse whatsoever. I just think that uh, they've been working hard. In terms of knowledge, knowledge there. So whenever we run a line out or a mall setup, knowledge was there. And then, well, what can you do? Some there, there's there's gonna be mistakes, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the uh, the work they're putting on and uh, and the new players too. We have a pretty young team, uh, especially on the Type Five side of things, and I'm pretty pretty satisfied with the uh, with the way the way the the way the way they're working. I you talked to Tom Robertson's um, selection obviously not there. Um, was that rotation at all yeah. the time ago? Yeah, that, that, that was always the idea, to see everybody, to give a chance uh, to everybody. So it's Tom or Higgies or whoever whoever's not there. Uh, we just want to see everybody perform at, at this level. The, um, the cards, I mean, there's been a couple of cards sort of this week. You don't know, speak about whether discipline's been spoken about. I know last year there was a fair few cards sort of throughout the year. How frustrating is that? Coach, that you can coach? Well, last last week I think we were under ten penalties, okay. and uh, the first week we were under ten penalties too. So uh, that's tracking pretty well, but uh, it's always frustrating to uh, to get a yellow card and stuff like that. But uh, I think that uh, in terms of uh, the, the yellow card, we we got with easy, pretty bad luck there. Uh, I, I I think you can go for the yellow card, but uh, he was trying to pull off and uh, he couldn't. So I think that the, the discipline's been, it's been, uh, it's been good. Even though, yeah, same thing. Bernard, that's a little bit uh, harder to to uh, explain, but uh, but I think we're tracking well. Mario, um, Stephen Moore will play 120 tests on Saturday. Can you give us a perspective on how uh, much willpower you have to get to have to to get the 120 tests in the front row and to still be going strong and still be. Uh, talking like you want to be there for years to come. Yeah, well, it's pretty impressive. When you think uh, when you think how hard it is, not, not only playing, but training every day. We train pretty hard. And uh, he's never looking for shortcuts, never looking for excuses. He trains as hard as any young guy. And uh, so just from the physical side of things, it's pretty pretty impressive to be playing more than 10 years at this level, and especially tight five. Uh, and everybody's getting stronger and bigger and quicker, so uh, it's getting harder and harder, and he, he keeps performing. So it's a pretty good milestone there, and uh, I'm I'm really admirative of of, uh, of the player and the, and the and the person too. What do you think his chances of making it to the World Cup are going to be? Job? Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> How should I know? <laughs> No, nah, it's 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 hard. It's really hard to say. It's really hard to say. I I, I can tell you yes or no, and uh, I could be right or wrong. It's really, it's gonna get harder and harder. And uh, with with age, and I've been there, uh, you never you never know when you're gonna hit the wall. Uh, so it's really really hard to say. You might be tracking really well, and then all of a sudden you have no more legs, and uh, everything starts going too quickly for you. Uh, so I don't know. I hope I hope he does. He's a really good le leader for us, so I hope he does, but uh, I don't know. And uh, if somebody else comes along and push him out, that's only good for the Wallabies. So uh, I'm, I'm waiting for the guys who will come and push him off. Not that I'm wishing that, but uh, it's just we need that depth. So, yeah, and he needs to be challenged to get there in 2019. So I hope everybody challenges him. So day-to-day -day you see a guy who will, I guess, leaving no stone unturned to make sure... Yeah, yeah, he's... 
he's pretty good in his individual pre preparation on and off the field he's pretty good with food and well, he doesn't drink he doesn't smoke he sleeps all right he's always asking snc uh coaches to uh just to in every detail he he can he can work on to be better on on the, on the weekend and just long term too he has a three year contract so he'll go there anyway and uh if he's good enough, he'll be there. Do you feel like this side you see that depth coming? We've got Tolu and Carl obviously really pushing. Yeah, but the last couple of years I've been working with the under twenties too, and there's a there's a kid over there. He's pretty pretty solid too, Jordan, Willisi. Don't so um, I think they they they're coming through. And uh, well, Tolu's pretty young, and then there's Muffy in the in the Reds and Reddy and uh, Rangi. There's a couple of young young hookers coming through. So. Uh, yeah, if everybody gets better, we're, we're only going to get better. There's no Sergio Parisi for the Italians this trip. How big a loss is that for the Italian pack? Well, he's he's one of the best number eights, but um, I think they play better without him because when he plays, it's all about him. So he takes everything. He's pushing the 10 to get the ball. Uh, he, all the liner calls are around him. Uh, all the scrum calls are around him. So... Uh, I think that for them is a really good chance for other guys to express themselves. That's not taking anything away from Sergio. I know him well. He's Argentinian, by the way. <laughs> but um, but uh, he, he's an excellent player. But I think that as a team, they play better without him. Have the players been uh, briefed on what to do if uh, Italy doesn't commit players to the rough and try to pull the, uh, the Swifty like they did against England? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but at the same time, you, you cannot spend too much time on that. Uh, we mentioned it even today. I don't know if you, you were watching training, but we we did it a little bit. Um, but then, if they don't do it, you, if you spend the whole week working that, it's a waste of time. So uh, I hope if they throw that around tomorrow, we'll be we'll be performing. Because if not, I'll be looking like a clown. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah. So was your in, in, insistence that they do a little bit of training of it on the field? Well, we 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 did we we did, but uh, again, uh, we, you never know what they what they're gonna throw at you. And uh, I, I, to counter that, it's pretty if you if you're alert and alive, it's pretty pretty easy to counter. We just have to be mindful of that and be ready to react quickly. But uh, the first time we did it today, uh, they got an intercept. So I guess that they'll that be in the heads already. That's a good warning for tomorrow.